Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Is the Attorney General elected or appointed? The process of selecting an Attorney General varies significantly across different states and territories in the United States. Let's break down the different methods. Elected by the general public. In the majority of states, the Attorney General is elected by the general public. This is the case in 43 states, as well as in the District of Columbia, Guam, and the Northern Mariana Islands. These elections typically occur during statewide or midterm election years, and the term length is usually four years, except in Vermont where it is two years. Appointed by the Governor. In some states, the Attorney General is appointed by the Governor. This method is used in Alaska, Hawaii, New Hampshire, New Jersey, Wyoming, American Samoa, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. For instance, in Alaska and Hawaii, the governor appoints the attorney general without a specified term length, while in other places like Puerto Rico, the position is officially known as the Secretary of Justice, but is commonly referred to as the attorney general. Selected by the legislature. In Maine, the attorney general is selected through a secret ballot by the state legislature. This unique method sets Maine apart from other states and territories. Selected by the State Supreme Court. Tennessee has another distinct method where the Attorney General is appointed by the Tennessee Supreme Court for an eight-year term. This long-term appointment reflects the significant role the Attorney General plays in the state's legal system. Term limits and eligibility. The terms and eligibility requirements also vary. Many states have term limits, such as California, where the Attorney General can serve a maximum of two four-year terms. Eligibility requirements, including residency, age, and bar admission, are specified by each state. For example, in California, a candidate must be admitted to practice before the California Supreme Court for five years before being eligible for the position. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.